Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Got another last epoch video. So about a month ago, uh, I haven't really covered this yet. They were talking about a big uh, update they were going to do to their trading system. And as we all know, in ARPGs, there's pretty much usually around two ways you can go. Or well, not even ARPGs and everything. You've got an auction house and not an auction house, right? I mean, there's stuff in between for the most part, but it's usually kind of black and white like that. So this here, this screenshot, I think was from like a year ago when they were teasing this information. Or basically, there's going to be like a merchant's guild, which is about buying or selling types of equipment uh, and trading directly, uh, you know, to acquire X item. And then the circle of fortune, which is more so for, I would say, like players like myself who want to grind for their upgrades rather than turn things into like profit and then buy something else. I mean, both of them are fun, right? Just usually I like having a little bit of everything. So... We're going to go ahead and jump into um, a little bit of a dive here into a video they made. So again, this video, I'll have everything linked down below. This was about a month ago, maybe a little more than they did this. Um, so let's jump into it, talk about it, react, and let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, Last Epoch comes out next week, February 21st. We'll be playing quite a bit of it, so very excited. And with that being said, let's jump on in. Greetings, travelers. I'm Judd Kobler, founder of 11th Hour Games and game director for Last Epoch. Today, we will be discussing the highly anticipated item faction system coming to the full release of Last Epoch on February 21st. We're very excited to release this innovative new way for players to participate in the deep and rewarding item hunt that Last Epoch offers in the way that they like to play. By joining the Merchants Guild, you will be able to buy, sell, and trade items through the bustling bazaar. Or, if you choose to join the Circle of Fortune, you'll set your sights to the stars and be able to bolster your item acquisition through prophecies and increased item drop this rates. This looks really cool. This system is the result of many years of debating what the ideal trade system should look like in a loot-based action RPG. Con so I'm going to pause there because, you know, coming from Path of Exile, I've been playing the game for over 10 years. There's always a big debate on, not necessarily a big debate on both of these, but on one of them, the trading system. You know, people really dislike the current trade system in Path of Exile because of the annoyance of setting up the filters to trade the you know trying to buy things in bulk getting you know replies at the wrong time whenever you're trying to trade or whenever people are messaging you you're in the middle of combat so there's a lot of things we're not going to get into that but also a lot of people always ask for what is the reason people play solo self-found why don't people just play trade league and then not trade anything right a lot of people have they they kind of struggle to play a game mode where there is no advantage they feel like things are kind of stacked against them and that's not necessarily how i look at it right but that's how people look at it but what's unique about this is the circle of fortune which is the one that's kind of i'm not going to say it's ssf because it's completely different but circle of fortune is more about finding your own loot right there is incentives to both of them so with that we'll keep playing tons of collaboration with our amazing community and many sleepless nights of game design meetings with our game design team we found through extensive polling that players of action RPGs are split nearly down the middle when it comes to those who want their experience to heavily involve trade and an economy, and those who want to focus on finding items themselves or with close friends. We believe that through the item faction system, we will deliver a tailored and exciting path to hunt for top tier items for both camps of players. I actually never would have guessed it would be a 50-50 split. I thought it would honestly be more of like an 80-20. 80% players probably voting for the trading just because of like time friendly, right? Versus the 20% being more like, yeah, you know, I kind of casually play video games 10 to 15 hours a day, nothing biggie, nothing to see here. <laughs> At last Epoch 1.0, you will join a faction once you reach the great mercantile city of Majelka. When you select to join the Merchant's Guild or the Circle of Fortune, a new interface will become available that will let you access details about your current status with your faction known as reputation, cool. how much favor you currently have, and what benefits your faction is currently providing you. Let's talk about these briefly. Reputation within a faction is a core part of how the faction is going to be benefiting you on your journey. Sorry, I just had to pause here because there's some really cool stuff. The literal first thing is enemy item drop chance. Enemies have a 35% chance of dropping twice as many items. I actually haven't read this. I've watched this trailer, but I haven't like read everything. 45% chance for runes of ascendance to be preserved when an, when uh, used on an item that requires at least circle of fortune rank one. Whenever an idol drops, there's a chance for two more to drop at the same time. Affixes are 50% more likely to be exalted. This is some crazy stuff. Exalted is basically like the highest tier affix. So like 
one of the top two highest tier affixes, right? Um, chance for double rewards from Monolith Echo, very cool. As a representative of that faction, you will continue to increase your reputation by killing enemies and completing quests. For the Merchant Guild, this includes participating in the Bazaar and completing trades at your current level. And for the Circle of Fortune, this means completing prophecies that will divine certain items after fulfilling the foretold conditions. Through earning reputation, you will ascend ranks within your faction, earning you unique benefits and options. Once you have earned reputation within a faction, that reputation stays with your account in that game mode. This means if you rank up a cycle character, all of your other cycle characters will have that rank when they join the same faction and contribute to that faction's reputation gain. You may switch factions and earn and maintain reputation with them with no penalty to your earned reputation with the other. There are currently 10 ranks to achieve in each faction, with the later ranks requiring quite a bit of commitment in order to obtain. So, while you have the freedom to change your faction at any time... Sorry, I just need to pause here. Uh, uniques are twice as likely to have legendary potential. This is big for crafting on uniques, which is a thing in this. Uh, T7 affixes are twice as common. That's pretty cool. I think that is maybe the highest tier affix, but it's not exalted. I don't actually know how this one works off the top of my head. Items that would drop as rare have a 25% chance to become exalted. That's awesome. When a set item would drop, the whole set drops? Okay, come on. That's... That's kind of sick, actually. That's really cool. Uh, items from Prophecies are duplicated. You will want to pick a faction and stick with it to reach the most powerful benefits that they have to offer. It is important to note that you can only be a member of one faction at any given time per character, and items earned with the benefits from those factions will require that you are aligned with them in order to use them. So most players will want to stick to a faction that rewards their preferred playstyle. Next, let's talk about Favor. Favor is the currency you will earn while slaying enemies or completing quests for each of the factions. Favor is separate from reputation. This currency can be used to either complete trades with the Merchant's Guild or acquire new prophecies from the Circle of Fortune. And if you find yourself with excess favor, you can always spin the wheel with the Faction Gambler. Item gifting to party members has been in the game for a while now, and it isn't going anywhere. However, it's important to note that once you have joined a faction, items will start being tagged with the faction you were part of when they dropped. This means that while questing, if you are a member of the Merchant's Guild, and an item drops for you, that item will still be shareable with anyone who is in the party, like always, and be available to be sold, provided that you meet the rank requirements in the Merchant's Guild Bazaar. Just be sure that the person you are trading it to also meets the same faction requirements. The last use case we wanted to solve for are friends who choose to play together and just want their own little trade group, which brings us to Resonances, which are a new type of item that can be found when you are questing with your friends or party members. This item can be used to enable an item to be gifted specifically to the player that you have a resonance with, even Very if they cool. weren't there when the item dropped. We know a lot of times players will play with their friends and then later you'll be soloing a piece of content and the perfect item drops for your buddy. Well, thanks to the new resonance system, you will be able to give them that perfect item the next time you see them. As those of you who love loot-based action RPGs know, trade and economy is a very complex and divisive issue to solve for when catering to a large player base and different playstyles, while keeping the item acquisition hunt feeling great. We can't wait to get your feedback on the system that we've come up with alongside you, and we thank you for all of your continued input and passion for helping make Last Epoch the next great action RPG. There is so much more to explore with the item faction system, so check out the deeper dive we have on our forums, and we look forward to seeing you in Last Epoch, February 21st. I have to say, I'm like super stoked for it. One of the coolest things I, I have to say is I always see trailers of like video games and things like that and development updates, but I feel like it's rare that I actually get to see an up, like see a video game create something that feels new, right? Usually things are kind of carbon copy pasted among the games. And that's kind of why I feel a lot of games you play for like a few days and then you're kind of bored of it, right? In regards to Last Epoch, this kind of happens to me after playing like a week or two. I get a little bored of the end game, but the character building process is always so satisfying for me in this game. 
So I'm really curious as myself who loves loot, um, how Circle of Fortune is going to feel. You know, I, I plan on playing Epoch uh, on the live servers. You know, obviously everyone's going to start fresh, but I want to play multiple characters. Unlike Path of Exile, where I like to kind of focus on one character like crazy, like a lot. In Epoch, I'm because I don't care too much for the end game. You know, I'll play a character to like high 80s, low 90s. I'm a lot more interested in exploring different builds because that's kind of what I enjoy. And that's pretty cool because I can't do that in Path of Exile, right? I've just played the game too much, so my expectations are so high. But here, you know, I haven't played Warlock. I haven't played uh, Falconer. I haven't played Rune Master. And there's still a whole bunch of different builds to explore. So very excited, you know, really curious to see how things are going to go with the new guilds. Let me know what you guys are. Sorry, not guilds, but reputations. I don't know exactly what they're called. Merchants Guild and like Circle of Fortune. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. You know, like what, what are you interested in? I'm obviously, you know, going straight Circle of Fortune. Uh, so I'm curious to see what you guys think. Anyway, I'll catch you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. If you guys enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch you streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash pox. See you guys all tomorrow.